In episode 9 of the Skirmish Wargames Hobby Vlog, we unpack a $50 box of discounted wargaming miniatures, terrain pieces, tokens, and more. Well, hi folks, this is Lee from SkirmishWarGames.com. Welcome to the channel. I'm here with Lynn. Hello. And welcome to episode 9 of the Skirmish Wargames Hobby Vlog, where we cover some smaller topics that maybe don't merit the uh, full cinematic video treatment, but that we think are kind of interesting anyway. So today we're going to look at a box, a $49 box, $49 and uh, 24 cents worth of wargaming stuff that I got from uh, one of the big uh, online retailers. They sent me an email around Memorial Day saying they were having a sale and I told myself I don't need anything, but maybe I'll look just to see if there's anything really good. And so I did get a few things. I kept it under 50 bucks and the highest priced item was seven bucks. So we're going to look at the box. See what we got for our $49.24. And Lynn, I must commend you on your restraint. This has been sitting here for about 10 days and you didn't open it up because we were waiting to do the video. Well, anytime I came near it, you said, no. Yes, I did, but the day has finally come. So we're gonna crack this open, look at the treasures within and see if we got $49 worth of value out of it. So this particular shipment came from Miniature Market, which is an online retailer that we've bought a fair amount of stuff from over the years and one of the things I like about them is they have a pretty big clearance section and so if you're kind of uh, creative minded if you're always looking for things that are inexpensive that you can uh, apply to different games on your shelf usually there's some fun stuff in there from out of production games that they're trying to unload and so I think that was the case today so Lynn let's go ahead and uh, if you don't mind let's open that up and uh, see what we got for our 49 bucks bubble wrap bubble wrap Good quality bubble wrap, too. We like that. All right, for better or worse, there is our $49.24 pile of discount wargaming stuff that includes, looks like, three campaign boxes for dust back when uh, Fantasy Flight Games was involved in the franchise and a bunch of War Machine tokens and some other templates. And I see a package of stuff for Bones. I think I got that specifically for you, Lynn. And... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to take the uh, shrink wrap off of these and then show you them close up on the table. And I know that there are um, uh, terrain pieces in here. There are some figures in here. There are other little tchotchkes, maybe some uh, tiles and things like that. But uh, the most expensive thing in this pile was uh, seven bucks. So let's go ahead and open it up and see if we got our money's worth. So earlier I misspoke. I said the most expensive item in this shipment was seven bucks. Actually, it's eight bucks. We spent eight dollars on this Operation Icarus campaign expansion for dust. So these expansion boxes were kind of released in the 2010 to 2012 range. So we're looking at about 10 years ago. And uh, I think the reason this one was a little more expensive is that uh, you get some Quonset huts. It actually includes some plastic terrain pieces as well as some minis and some other stuff. So that's the main reason these Quonset huts are kind of useful. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up take a look at them and then we'll get on to the other campaign boxes here in just a minute okay operation icarus for dust tactics this is an older um, version of the dust game the uh, most current version dust 1947 has different rules which is probably why these old box sets get uh, put on clearance so we get the uh, information for the campaign which is probably pretty useless at this point but we also get a couple of big battle mats I wish that um, when companies put these out that they were matte instead of gloss. And I realize there's probably economic reasons for them. This is not a half bad matte. It's just when we try to film things, glossy does not necessarily work with the lights. But if you were in a situation where the gloss didn't matter, this is a pretty good uh, runway here with a couple of uh, advanced uh, German fighters there on the grass. So we get a couple of those. So this set comes with a couple of figures, one for the Allies and one for the Axis. That's these guys here. And the uh, dust uh, miniatures are already assembled and primed, so all you need to do is paint them. And even though you may not be playing Dust Tactics right now, these would be good for any kind of pulp action or uh, Weird War II type scenario. So uh, these are kind of nice to have on hand. So that is Sergeant Victory, and I think that's Panzer Prince. Those are the two figures that come with the set. But what re... Oh, what's I like this? the tokens. Oh, tokens. Yeah. Always good to have some tokens. 
Minefield, minefield tokens, perfect. We were just talking about a minefield in our uh, live stream game a couple days ago. Yes, we were. And these Quonset huts, that's really what I wanted them for. So we get three of these plastic Quonset huts with the sets. So you could just spray them, you know, camo green or uh, some kind of a German gray and you'd be all set. So these are applicable to a lot of different environments. And for eight bucks, yeah, that's a pretty good deal, I think. We also got these 2D terrain tiles here, which are pretty handy, especially since we are starting to film some live streams. And uh, tall terrain does not always work well on our live stream board, but two-dimensional terrain would work just great. So. And they are two-sided. And Oh, they're two-sided. Look at that. More Quonset huts, apparently. And since we're talking about Weird War II scenarios, here is a Red Guards Command Squad box. And I think this cost the princely sum of $3. And so you get five figures in there. And I believe these are also primed and assembled. Let's go ahead and open those up and take a look at them. All right, there is our $3 Command Squad. They are assembled and primed. And uh, you could use these for a lot of things. You could use them for Weird War II. You could use them for games like Zone Alpha, kind of post-apocalyptic. Or even Stargrave. There's no reason why these couldn't be the core of a Stargrave crew. Here is a, a heavy weapons guy. There's a grenadier. There is a medic. This looks like a, a captain or somebody who's calling in the artillery. So, yeah, three bucks. That's one of the best deals out there. And here's the card for the squad. Red Command. Red Guards Command Squad. All right, Operation Hades. This box set cost five bucks. And I can't remember why I got it, other than it was five bucks. Oh, well, we're going to get a, uh, a Winter Child, the SSU's first superhuman character in here. So we're going to get at least one good mini, probably. And then looks like a lot of terrain. So maybe this is mostly terrain tiles. But let's open it up and find out. So there is the Winter Child, the SSU's first super soldier, I guess. And uh, here is the Operation Hades book. So, looks pretty interesting, but uh, yeah, this is not the current version of Dust. This is about uh, 10, 12 years old, but the minis can still be used for other stuff. So there is the uh, Super Soldier right there. And where's his card? Oh, here we go. Winter Child. So he's a flyer, apparently, in an armored suit. Did they give us a couple of postcards? They did. Interesting. So we didn't get any plastic Quonset huts or anything like that, but we did get all of these uh, kind of cardstock terrain tiles. And those are actually more useful because they're semi-matte, so they're not quite as glary. So yeah, I could use that to create a variety of uh, wargaming environments. And here's some more two-dimensional terrain. These come apart. Okay, so that is Operation Hades. Five bucks. So we got a mini and some tiles. Also five dollars was Operation Cyclone. So let's see, what do we get in Operation Cyclone? Two minis for sure. Two minis, some kind of terrain tiles, and then a bunch of little 3D terrain pieces. So some tank traps and some crates and stuff, it looks like. Let's check it out. All right. So we get uh, two special characters, Rosie and Manfred. So there's Manfred and Rosie and a bunch of uh, terrain pieces. So these uh, tank barriers, these crates. So that's pretty handy. So again, this was only five bucks. So, you know, that's probably five bucks worth of material right there. Plus we get all these tiles. Oh, <laughs> a boat, a landing craft. So there's some landing craft tiles here. Interesting. That could be useful. So is that inside the ship, I wonder? Let's see. Let's take a look at the book. Operation Cyclone. So yeah, landing craft hitting the beach. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, that'll be a good addition to our collection of kind of fiberboard uh, game mat tiles. 
And uh, we'll have to figure out something interesting to do with those landing craft. That's intriguing to me. Try to do something with these guys. Okay, so that is Operation Cyclone. Five bucks. So this was a little bit of a splurge. This was laziness kicking in. They had these uh, hordes uh, template sets. And they're all glary in their plastic bags, but I'll show you what they look like. Yeah, so I don't really need six of these sets, even at $2 a piece, but there is a Stargrave scenario in the uh, book that uh, has steam vents. And you're supposed to be able to mark the steam vents when they go off. And I thought, well, if I have a bunch of these templates, that can just be the steam vent markers. I don't have to make any. So anyway, laziness getting the better of me. Two bucks a piece, though, not too bad. And here's something I got just for you, Lynn. This is Sligs and Squarg. This is from uh, Reaper, Reaper Bones. So these look like a couple of space kobolds, and this looks like some kind of a uh, alien creature, some space slug that they're motivating with their electric prod. So uh, maybe that'll be a member of your Stargrave crew. This could be a guard dog. It could. And finally, I splurged on $5 worth of War Machine Mark II tokens. So these are... Uh, tokens from expired versions of War Machine, apparently, and they were uh, $2 for a couple of them and $1 for the other one. I forget which was which, but they're pretty cool tokens, and we kind of have a uh, sort of a tackle box full of various types of tokens from different games that we can use when we need a shock marker or a wounded marker or a pinned marker or anything like that. So we will add that to our token collection, and the price was right. I kind of like these protector tokens here, actually. All right, so I didn't resist the Memorial Day sale, but at least I kept the spending to a minimum, and there were some pretty good bargains in there, especially those Quonset hats from Operation Icarus. So pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, and we can always use tokens and templates and things as well to make our life a little easier. So there we go. And as a bonus, the number of actual figures was kept to a minimum, so we're not adding too much to the pile of shame. So here's five here. Here's uh, three of those little gray guys. And I think another six from the various dust box sets, so that's not too bad. All right, folks, that is our $49 haul from the Memorial Day sale. Not that we needed anything else on the shelf, but uh, yeah, three bucks a box for some miniatures or a dollar for a bag of templates. It's kind of hard to resist. But if nothing else, if your kids or your nieces and nephews want to get into wargaming and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money up front, throw a couple of boxes of $3 minis at them and let them practice painting on these. And that's a cost-effective way to get him into the hobby. So Lynn, I think my favorite figure in this whole batch is this Squarg here. He reminds me of something, I don't know what, but. Uh... He reminds me of a slug, so I'm gonna call him Slugward the Squarg. Say that five times fast. And these guys, his handlers are the Sligs. So it's two Sligs and a Squarg. All right, on that note, we're gonna call it a wrap on episode nine of the Skirmish War Games Hobby Vlog. The interesting thing about wargaming is, sometimes the things come out, they're pretty expensive, like these uh, box sets. I think these were like 40 bucks a piece when they were first released. And there is some good stuff in here. And now you can get them for uh, five bucks, eight bucks if you look around. So there are some great deals out there if you don't mind buying something that's obsolete, maybe for a game that isn't around anymore. And, uh, but the key is, can you apply it to something else? And I think we can get some mileage out of most of this stuff. So uh, yeah, especially those Quonset huts. So that's it for today, folks. Thanks very much for stopping by, and we will talk to you soon.